I used to be antisocial. I used to not talk to anybody. Like I was scared to approach new people and just open new conversations. I was scared to do that. And for a long time, it was haunting me. And I felt like I'm just not really able to connect with people because there are so many people, there are so many new ideas, so many new lessons you can learn, so many new friends you can make. But if you don't really make that connection with them, if you don't really talk to them, nothing is going to happen. So this thing applies to your dating life, your work life, career life, all these things, your friendship life, all these things are connected to your ability to make people, uh, to approach people, to talk to people, to connect with people. And I never really, it was a like a difficult thing for me to like start like a new conversation with other people, you know? So after like during high school, like my senior year, I started to challenge myself. I was like, you know, trying to talk to new girls. A lot of the time I was failing or whatever, but it gave me the confidence and I started building on it, right? So and I started making content and then like I started talking to new people, approaching people on like public interviews and talking to more girls and making new friends at the gym, just in general like that. And all these things truly helped me to get those new ideas, get those new connections, make those new friendships, right? And you may ask, how did you do it, right? Like I went from like anti-social, anti-social person, someone who didn't really want to talk to people and was super unskilled, that's the best word. I was unskilled of the art and the skill of talking to people, connecting with people. And I'm still learning. I'm still improving. But I came a long way because in my early high school years, my middle school years, I was terrible at talking. I was terrible at connecting with people and making new friends. And it was like a scary feeling for me to like approach someone, you know, just to open a conversation. But now I've came a long way and I'm going to tell you how I did it. And it comes down to who who you want to become, right? So this is how I saw it, right? Like if you just want to be like an antisocial person and just lock yourself in a room and don't talk to people, then you don't really necessarily need to master this skill. But I know majority of you want to start like, you know, uh, new relationships, new connections. So you want to get yourself out there, right? So the first step is to acknowledge that you actually want it. The first step is that actually like, yeah, I really want to like start making new friends and new like meet new girls or whatever. You have to acknowledge that, right? Second step, you have to get that perfection mindset out of your mind, uh, head, right? So a lot of people want like have, want to have like this perfect line to say to like a new girl, to a new friend or someone they want to talk to. And they think like, oh, like I have to have this perfect 10 out of 10 sentence. And they just start overthinking and they start contemplating in their head. And then they replay this scene over and over and over. And by the time they they, they want to start talking to that person, they get like so nervous that they just fumble the whole thing, right? And this happened to me. Like, let's just say in the past when I wanted to talk to girls, like I, uh, I was just thinking, I was like, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I was thinking so much about it. Because by the time I tried to talk to them, I felt like so nervous and it just like felt terrible, right? So this is what I do. And I learned this concept from this YouTuber called Taekwondo and he calls it the blackout method, right? So pretty much he's like, let's just um, apply this to like talking to girls, right? So let's just say, if you want to talk to a girl, you the first time you look at her, you just acknowledge that she exists. Like you just saw her, right? Second time is to confirm that like, okay, do I want to talk to her, right? third time you're already there and you don't even hesitate it's just automatic movement right it's just that time all you have to do is just to decide if you want to go or if you're not going to go and the rest you just go there as long as you decide just move boom that's it don't over don't over complicate it don't overthink about it just flow just flow with the vibe and train yourself to do that in any situation because if you do that you're going to be able to master the skill of like actually connecting with people because not every time you're you have the opportunity to prepare, right? So you're gonna train yourself. You're like, okay, any situation that I go, any location that I go, I have the power, I have the confidence, and I have the skill to connect with people. So if you truly master that skill of just like a randomly without any preparation, approach people and talk to people, it's gonna be like a second nature to you. Like you're gonna be like so used to it, you're gonna be like, oh, this is nothing. And that that's I noticed that part when I was start when I started doing public interviews like on this channel it truly took my social skills to a different level because it forced me to like come out come out of my shell and I still to this day sometimes I go in my shell but I came a long way and it's easier for me to tap in like tap uh, get out of that uh, 
like not phase or whatever like the position of being like too closed off you know and not really being social i was really closed off right but doing public interviews like helped me to get out of my shell and i was talking to new people all day like for the videos creating new conversations out of nothing and it really forces you to like actually take your um social skills level to a different like higher level right so the moment you start practicing and putting in the work and being part of the game and actually putting yourself out there that's when the shift is going to happen right because you cannot expect a skill to get better if you're not going to use it right imagine if i want to play like i don't know basketball and i don't really put in the hours like shooting passing dribbling like i'm not going to get good at it like that's common sense right so talking is the same thing like how can i expect to get at Good, good at talking if I'm not really talking you know what I mean so this applies to any single part of your life if you feel like a skill in a certain aspect of your life is lacking then put more effort put more intention towards it and you're going to improve at it that's simple as that okay and when I started approaching people constantly consistently and I was persistent with how I was doing it and I, how many times I was doing it um, it got better like it was just simple, um, inevitable thing that's going to happen because the more I put myself out there, the more I talk to people, my skills going to get better. And nowadays, even today, like randomly, I saw a girl, I wanted to talk to her, I wanted to introduce myself to her, just randomly out of nowhere, I had like a conversation starter, didn't think about it, took me like five seconds to start. I was like, okay, I want to talk to her, confirmed, and number three, I was just talking to her. Like, that's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You can just decide and boom don't even overcomplicate overcomplicate don't like be in your head because whenever you're in your head you're constantly replaying these negative situations like oh my god what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's gonna happen and by the time you approach that person and you talk to that person it's gonna be like holy i feel like i'm shaking you're like oh like i'm shaking I, that happened actually a couple of times like in the past for me like the first couple of times when i was like trying to talk to girls like i was like holy this is like a new experience but like bro i was um Never talked to a girl before in my life, like especially when I came to America. I think, yeah, that was like in my high school freshman year, that was like the first time I approached a girl here um, after I came from Iran to America, like my freshman year. And then that was like a huge thing. It was like, oh my God, I said hi to a girl or like this girl smiled to me. I was like, ooh, I was like shaking. I was like, no way. What is this experience? Um, but long story short, get out of your head and just make that move. And all you have to do is just decide and move. That's it. Don't overthink. Don't overcomplicate. Because the moment you start being in your mind and like overthink and overcomplicate the whole situation, you're gonna ruin the flow. Because the flow make that's what makes the conversation go better and make it fun, right? So don't overthink. Don't overcomplicate it. I know I said it like three million times. Keep it simple, right? Just keep it simple. And if you feel like you want to connect with a person, just make that move. Simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to post more self-development content like this. I'm going to share more of my experiences. So if you want to see it, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub. I do have a Discord community. Again, it's for self-development for young men. If you want to join, make sure to click the link in the description and in the comment section. I'm going to put it in both places so you can just find it there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.